Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I rise in support of Mr. Laurel's amendment because we, we have to think about common sense here. Um, seven years, I mean, under the underlying bill that we're considering here, we're actually saying that restaurants need seven years to comply with menu labeling. You know, this is becoming an absolute necessity and something that consumers expect. I can tell you as someone who, and I've discussed my own evolution uh, with you very publicly about uh, how I have changed, how I uh, make food consumption decisions. And for me, it is really important. And for millions of people like me who really want to make sure that we understand what we're putting in our bodies and what the calorie intake is that we're regulating, when you walk up to a restaurant, whether it's a McDonald's or other fast food restaurant or a restaurant that is a national chain, you, you, or, or a smaller restaurant for that matter. I mean, w the, Ms. Delano's original language was very reasonable, which I helped her negotiate uh, when we were uh, considering the Affordable Care Act uh, legislation. Uh, you know, 20 locations, it, it was not too much to ask. But at the end of the day, we need to make sure that we give consumers more information about what they are putting into their bodies, about the calorie intake that they, uh, that they, that they are consuming. And I mean, I remind you what Mr. Ryan said. Imagine, we are getting close to 50 percent of Americans who will be either pre-diabetic or diabetic. The, the, diabetes is a life-threatening disease. We've got to make sure that we apply some rational, reasonable decision making when it comes to eventually implementing this provision fully. It's going to happen. You know, delaying it is just delaying the inevitable and causing people to make more you know, uh, unhealthy decisions and increasing our overall health care costs. So when Republicans you know, uh, who criticize the Affordable Care Act and talk about uh, you know, the increased health care costs by delaying this provision, you are doing exactly what you supposedly oppose, increasing health care costs. Thank you. I urge the members to adopt the amendment.